Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now that I know that I need another uh, pal blocker, well, I don't know if I'll need another pal block, but I'm just gonna grab one just in case because they are rather handy. I think I'm gonna need at least two of them to go over to the uh, place that I need to go. An invisible barrier, dang you. <laughs> But yeah, the, the reason why I, I, I'm saying that I think I need another power block is because I recall there being two things that I need them for, and yeah, it's just a memory thing that, that I think I need two of them for. And I got an email! As you travel, you may receive email from people you meet on your journey. You can read these emails in our mailbox SP. Press start slash pause to access your menu and check your email. By the way, that sound to indicate that you've got mail was obviously the sound from Super Mario World. To find the under important things on your gear screen. So, gear, important things, mailbox SP. Wait a second, I've got two. Hello Mario, working hard? Professor Frankly here, any form. It's highly likely that you'll receive emails like this on uh, one while on your journey, so check your mail often. I actually have nothing more to say than that. <laughs> so I hope all goes well for you, and I look forward to, uh, to seeing to getting more information on those crystal stars, Professor Frankly. Selfie! <laughs> RDM registration, direct mail verification. Dear Mario, thanks for registering with World Worldport's direct mail RDM service. Your kind friend, Mr. Frankly, referred you to us. Ah, oh, so it was him. And so that's why I've got two now. Our direct mail service will provide you with regular timely news updates. We hope you enjoy your, our service. Published by Worldport Restoration Committee. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. wait, did that, did it really, why did I say restoration, did it really say restoration? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was restoration, restoration committee, okay. Anyway, talk to him now. An old stronghold called Schwank Fortress lies ahead, a stone creature lives there, at least it might live there. Might, the gate, this gate, ah, I'm, I can't read today, no. <laughs> This gate is to keep it out. My job is guarding the gates, but if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Okie dokie. I mean, okie dokie. Um, uh, excuse me. Um, uh, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Oh, it's Coops. Pardon me for yelling like that. I, I was panicking. Um, how, how to begin? M my name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle, so anyway, I, I have a favor to ask. Well, um, oh, just, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good, goodbye. What? Okay, that was weird. What do you think that was all about? Talk about issues. I wonder if he has anything else to say if I go back to his house. Hold on a sec, just want to see. Um, look, I, I, listen, just forget that whole scene I made earlier, okay? It was nothing, I was just fooling around or something. Hmm, just wanted to see that for the heck of it. You'll see why a little bit later. Just saying. Alright, let's explore this place, see the star piece in the bush. That could be taken many different ways, but let's just leave it at that. <laughs> shake everything! Shake, 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 shake! Oh, I sort of miss Mischief Makers. I mean, doing the Mischief Makers walkthrough sometimes, that was a fun one. Oh, new enemy! It's a Koopa, and I'm going to tattle that sucker. Okay, okie dokie, let's line up the cursor. Tattle! That's a Koopa Troopa. They've been around forever. Gotta respect the longevity. <laughs> or, I mean, longevity, excuse me. It's got sunglasses, too. It must be really bright out. Their shells are hard, but flip them over and their defense drops to zero. And you know how to flip them over, right? Just jump on their heads. That's a classic Mario thing right there. So yeah, they've got four HP, but they have one defense. So that means your first, your first attack will not do anything when you jump on them. And then the second one will do one damage. And while they're on their back, they can't do anything to you. Whoops, I... Failing on my action commands again! Oh, maybe I should use my hammer on that. I'm more consistent with the hammer than I am with the jump. Then again, I gotta practice practice the jump anyway, so meh. <laughs> they can attack by uh, sort of rolling themselves across the ground rapidly by sliding their, themselves and their shell across the ground at you. I'm sure you're gonna see how they attack me a little bit later, so I'm not too concerned with that at all. 
Alright, you know, to conserve. Oh, like that's how they attack, basically. Hua! Aha! Wait, actually, that was kind of useless, wasn't it? Well, maybe not. I can do one damage to it, but it's not gonna flip it. It's not gonna flip it on its back. You can only do that when it when you jump on it. Hua! Hua! There we go. Hmm. Right, maybe I should let it live. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of that Goomba because it's got a, a softener. Thing. Wait, was that a softener? I wasn't really paying much attention. I just kind of... I think it was a softening one that lowers your defense. Okay, I just want to defend because I want to show... Oh, forget it. I'll just kill it. <laughs> As I said, I'm sure you'll get an opportunity to see how they attack later anyway. Oh, we're close to leveling up here because uh, 100 is a... Uh, love. I'm getting one... Let's see, what's this? Oh, it's a mini Mr. Mini. It briefly shrinks enemies dropping their attack power. So yeah, that, that wouldn't have reduced my defense. It would have reduced my attack. Okay, so that wasn't what I thought it was. But yeah, it's not, it's not a bad item to have. Oh, and I still haven't used the mystery item yet, have I? More coins! More coins! Oh. Okay, let's, let's see what this battle offers me. And let's see what the mystery does. Just for the heck of it. Have some fun. See how it targets everyone? It could be doom. It could be successful. What'll it be? Oh yeah! Oh, oh no! One HP. <laughs> that was a dried shroom. Probably one of the worst items in the game, but I guess it's decent because <laughs> you know it's, it. It could have been worse. I guess you could say. Oh, lucky! Gotta love that badge. So obviously, since I'm getting lucky with certain things due to that badge, your battles might not go quite the same way mine. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, mine are. Anyway, he's still on the ground, so I'm going to wipe him out. But yeah, even though even if your battles don't go quite the way that mine do, if you if you need to recover, just go back to Pedalberg and go heal up at the end. Finally! Alright, so whenever you have a level up, you have a choice of upgrading one of these abilities. Basically, the, the flowers and HP, you'll be able to increase them by 5. Badge points, you'll be able to increase them by 3. I'm going to increase my HP uh, just because I prefer to have a longevity over super rapid attacks, I guess you could say, in, for the most part. Ooh, power block! Oh man, I, I, I didn't need to buy that extra power block, did I? Oh, wait, did I? Yeah, I, oh, poopers. <laughs> At least, I, I think I only need two Pow Blocks, but then again, Pow Blocks are good for um, uh, other things anyway, and I just realized my inventory is almost full again. Dang it! <laughs> uh, did I miss anything in this route? I don't think I did. just want to check in front of these uh, ruins, I guess you could say, because sometimes they like to hide stuff in front of stuff like that and they just want you to skim uh, skim by them to see if you're checking for stuff I guess you could say I don't know Ooh, what's that hmm, what's that nope just won't open I wonder what we should do hmm hmm exclamation point huh no uh oh oh boy oh boy yeah you got a bad long <laughs> This is why you want the POW blocks. I'll show you why in uh, just a second here. Because I'm going to tattle these. These are ball clefts. They have a lot of defense power. That's a ball cleft. Basically a rock monster with a swarthy looking face. <laughs> uh, this is kind of mean. The ball guys really just don't do it for me. Come on, Goombella. Don't be that shallow. Max HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 2! Yeah, this guy is rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. Might be best to attack it with, say, a POW block? Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, you can try and attack, attack it with other stuff. Your attacks will be ineffective at this point in the game. You just don't have enough attack power, so POW those suckers and one hit kill them. Oh, stage hazard! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I should have tried guarding for that. You notice the background object, I mean, the background objects fell on me? Yeah, that's it's just, that's a, a type of stage hazard that can just happen in battles randomly at times. Anyway, in the next room, 
We have... Outside. Oh! Oh, poopers, I totally missed my timing. So yeah, that's how they attack. I finally showed how they attack sort of by necessity. Because <laughs> I couldn't prevent their attack at all. Anyway, I'd like to flip them for the most part on their back. Oh, mistimed it. I was trying to do the super guard. That's fine. I'm just gonna try and kill off... I should say he's trying to stun and uh, kill off the Koopas. Dividing and conquering enemies when they are, when there is multiple ones on the screen at one time, uh oh, uh, is a very good strategy because it reduces the damage input that you take, basically. Because, uh, you know, if, if every enemy has one HP left out of a group of enemies, they can still attack you for the same amount of damage that they did before. So, yeah, you, you're most... Uh, be uh, you're usually better off uh, killing enemies and stunning enemies just one by one and making sure that they don't attack you is what I'm saying to reduce the damage that you take. It's basic strategy, I guess you could say. Or I should say it's a type of strategy. And there we go. Woo! All right. All right, let's see what else is in this route. I really hope I don't get too many more items because my, my inventory is kind of full. I should probably go dump stuff back over at the shop a little bit later. I mean, I could just use some stuff along the way if I run out of inventory and I need to hold something. But yeah. I think I'm going to avoid you. <laughs> no no offense. I just want to kind of conserve some stuff if you don't mind. Oh, another power block. Wow. I guess I didn't need to buy power blocks at all. Oh, maybe I'll battle you to see if there's any new enemies. Why not, I guess. Nope, new enemies. Boop, boop. Yeah, I'll take care of that. I suppose it's okay for experience as well. So it's, I mean, it's early game, so building up your character stats isn't such a bad idea. Even if it is sort of time-consuming, I guess you could say. I'm not a fan of level grinding, so for the most part, I'm just going to be uh, running through a lot of stuff. Like, I'm not going to repeatedly battle enemies and whatnot. Especially since I'm able to beat anything in the game at any, any point in the game because of the uh, uh, addition of Super Guards in this Paper Mario game, so yeah. <clears throat> Just a matter of skill and strategy. Oh, these guys. They don't look too friendly now, do they? Oh! <coughs> yep, we gotta battle them too. Mini boss music! And I'm gonna switch and tattle because these have the same amount of HP as the bald clefts, so I'm just gonna kill him in one hit with a pow block. That's a bristle, totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. I did too low of a voice at first. XP, HP is two, attack is one, and defense is four! And they're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough to whack with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, its spikes will totally pop off. So since you can't jump on or use your hammer, you better use an item. Uh, if you don't have something, you can actually run, run away from the battle, even though this is sort of a boss battle. But uh, since I'm already prepared, goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Woo. And moving on, because obviously I couldn't go through that gate without killing off these guys. Boop. Voila. Let's move on and see what awaits us. Ooh, more grass. Must shake all the grass. Must find. Wild Pokemon... Wait, block? Never, never mind. <laughs> hmm, must hit all the trees obsessively. Wait, anything up here? Well, I can awkwardly run across the texture. <laughs> I should say, oh, jeez! Go over here. Thank you. Wait, no. Go over here. Uh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> must keep composure with whoa, rapid enemies. Oh, by the way, this is an in coupon. You can stay for free at any inn. You don't have to pay the stuff that they want you to pay. So that's good to have in case you need it, I guess you could say. So always, I guess always keep one on hand if you need it. Oh, um, this block right here, I'll, I'll show you what it does just once. If I uh, if I don't need it later, I won't use it again. This recovers all the heart, piece, uh, heart pieces. Oh my god, I'm now I'm thinking of Zelda. First it was Kirby 64, now it's Zelda. Oh, fun. <laughs> Doing this also requires all of Mario's FP points. However, it'll cost you the number of coins shown on the block, so be ready to pay. It always, it always it tends to be the, the price that's on the end of the area, I just noticed. Anyway, let's go through here and 
save our game. Because we are going to be tested on our knowledge. <laughs> You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. Contestants? If you've come all the way here to Schwank Fortress, you must want stone keys. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful! Mm -hmm. ah. So, what do you want to do? I'll take you on! By the way, if you fail this, you have to battle a couple of uh, uh, clefts, if I recall. Uh, clefts, or the uh, other spiky guys I already forgot the name of my... <laughs> I uh, can't think of the name, but anyway, it's game show time! Oh, and it's Bristle! That's the name of the enemies. My memory is terrible sometimes. Hey, hey, ladies and germs! Welcome, everybody, to the 65th Super Fun Core Quiz! For up those years, if you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win! But get three of them wrong, and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. Now for the first question. What's hidden in this place? Gotta be stone keys. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes, I am. Woo! Ah, that's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. I think there's seven questions actually, so you can miss up to two. So prepare yourself. On to question two. What do one Mr. Softener and one Fire Flower cost at the shop at? Oh. Um. 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 Sixteen? I don't really know. It is. Ah, oh, that's correct. <laughs> that question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. For a uh, game show host, he certainly doesn't want the contestants to win. <laughs> Moving on, question three. What is the name of the mayor of Petalburg? Oh. Mm. Was it Croup? That was Croup, right? Yes. Yeah! Ah, that's correct. That question was too easy. Repeat, repeat, copy paste, copy paste. <laughs> question four Where is the crystal star at? The Hooktail Castle? Woo! Arr, right again! Tell me you didn't get just get your fourth right answer. It can't be true. <laughs> That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for brain pain. This is just so ridiculous. <laughs> I love it. Yes, I am. Pipe in a cart. <laughs> they got a reference Mario Kart, huh? <laughs> yes. No, that's that's right. You correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win. I'd like to know what the other two questions were. In all honesty, kind of forgot what they were, but eh, it worked out. So very angry. I can't believe I lost. I guess I have to let you through. Stupid rules. Well, he's he's the game show host. He was the one who made the rules. <laughs> At least I think so. Okay, let's save our game before we move on. Alright, this uh, next particular area is pretty short, but the enemies are pretty hard to avoid. Oh, this is spooky. What's over here? I think it leads to a dead end. Oh, jeez. Fuzzies. Ah! I don't remember which way I have to... Oh, wait, actually, maybe it's both ways that I have to go. One, one for each key. I'll battle fuzzies on, on the way back, but for now I'm going to try and... Uh, Conserve my HP. This looks a lot like a moon from Super Mario World. That's the first thing that came to mind when I seen that. I mean, it doesn't, it's not quite uh, like the Super Mario World moon, but just in the crescent shape. Oh, there's a fuzzy! <laughs> I forgot about that. So I guess we're battling fuzzies earlier than I expected to. Alright, so I'm gonna start right off the bat by tattling the fuzzy. These things are really, really awkward to time um, guards. That's a fuzzy! What a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine! <laughs> Max HP is 3, attack is 1, defense is 0. Those things suck up your HP and use it to replenish their own. Isn't that the worst? I mean, ew! Doesn't that just sound totally gross? Anyway, guard against them by pressing the A the moment 
they release you. The timing is pretty hard to master, so uh, practice up. These things really suck HP. Um, you know, I'm gonna just speed things along here. Goodbye. <laughs> Three HP. All gone at once. Voila. That's using the old noodle. There's probably another one guarding the stone on the other side, so. I'm glad I have more fire flowers. No oh, water slows me, that's right. Forgot about the. Oh, jeez. Nope, nope. Not gonna happen. Nope. Gonna avoid battles. Will not grind unless absolutely necessary. Multi bounce badge. This allows you to attack enemies straight in line. Actually. I should probably demonstrate this. Um, what am I doing here? <laughs> there we go. Um, I'll switch to Power Smash with the Multi Bounce, just so you can see what it's like, because I will be using uh, something that I can use that for in just a minute. Oh, oh nope. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> just slipped on my finger. Well, you know what I'm going to show you how to do? Run from battle! Rapidly I press the A button and charge up your gauge, and if the OK is inside the safe area, you will be good to go. But, when you run from battles, you lose stuff in your inventory, like the coinages. So, don't run too often if you can help it. So, oh, nope, nope. And you'll notice that the coins are also going to disappear, and yeah. So you got to get them back before they disappear, if it's even possible. Anyway, Sunstone! Which I can use to evolve Sunkern. Woo! And another group of four, but this time I'm going to just show you my multi-bounce, just because it's going to be fun. Boop, 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 boop! That's what multi-bounce does. Basically jumps on all enemies with your basic attack power. Anyway, let's let's not beat around the bush any longer here. <laughs> I wonder if I should have used a POW block. I don't know. Because Pow Blocks would have did uh, 2 damage rather than the 3 damage of the Fire Flower, which could have been more useful, but yeah, I kind of want to save the um, uh, Pow Blocks for the impervious to fire enemies in this area, just in case I need it, because I don't remember every single little detail as I stated before. You know what? I want to battle you. I, I, wait, I, stuck, I struck first? How did I strike first? I thought I just touched you on the side. Anyway. Just gonna normal jump this one away, and I just want to show you how the fuzzies attack. That's why I went into battle um, with this particular fuzzy because I have just been dominating the craziness here. Now watch this. Ugh! Oh, I was a little bit late in my timing there, but yeah, whenever you, when right when you see that number appear is when you want to guard yourself with the A button. It's a really tricky timing, and it, it takes quite a bit of practice, but it's possible to do. Anyway, there we go. Woo! All right, I'm out of here. Too much craziness for me. <laughs> and that's saying a lot, because I'm the crazy gaming guy. Oh, jeez. Hey, we are suspicious dudes. This is our place. I'm coming in here. Sorry, sucker. We're going to walk them to you. I'm launching your head. Boss time. The golden fuzzy. Well, it's just a gold fuzzy. It's it's basically like a regular fuzzy, except it's a little bit more powerful. Well, I mean, not more powerful, excuse me. It has more HP. I think it still has one attack power, just has 10 HP, if I recall correctly. That's a gold, that's a good gold fuzzy. Whoa, these are, those are super rare. I'm serious, wow. Max HP is 10, attack is one, defense is zero. Yep, I was right about the stats. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. I have to wonder, though, how does this, this thing hide? Look at it, it's so gaudy. <laughs> All right, anyway. Time to wipe this sucker out. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see if I gu can guard properly. Oh, it doesn't suck like other... Oh, it attacks a little bit differently than I expected. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> That's fine. I know that I just need to attack when it's uh, bouncing on me. <laughs> How's the game handle this many sprites? Recover flowers! Woo! Even though I didn't really need that in all honesty. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a group of 20 fuzzies right there, but... 
I think you're just able to attack the gold fuzzy as is. Yeah, just what I thought. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Attack, I mean, guard, whenever you see one jump up in the air, yeah, you'll be okay. Uh, the little fuzz, I mean, the many, many fuzzies' real strength is the fact that they guard from you being able to tell where you're attacking. If that makes sense. Like, they, they make it so that you have to react faster than you're comfortable with, basically. You can wipe out that herd of fuzzies, obviously, as you've seen by the uh, uh, 20 HP there, but it's just much, much faster to go over and just defeat the gold fuzzy. Meow! Got me! That sounds a lot like Toad, doesn't it? <laughs> and clear. And <laughs> they're still bouncing in the background. Alright, I'll leave them in peace. I got what I came here for. So that means I think it's safe to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.